our first glimpse of Halo Reach on PC. What does the PC entail when it comes to competitive gaming, according to 343? And what is the influence that streamers could have on MCC when it comes to the PC? Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another discussion, update, kind of news information kind of thing. I don't know, we're just talking Halo MCC on PC. That's what we're talking about here. So if you guys enjoy these kind of news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this video as well. You think these uh, streamers could be something influential when it comes to MCC, growing the... Uh, brand of Halo as a whole. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video. With the MCC recently being announced on PC, it does kind of bring up a few questions. Uh, one question regarding what about the competitive side of Halo? Uh, most competitive games nowadays are pretty much played solely on PC, except for Call of Duty. It's the only one that really comes to my mind as the main platform of you know, competitive gaming for that for that franchise. And Halo has always been competitive on the console. Now, with it coming to PC, that leaves a lot of more doors open when it comes to getting more people into the competitive side of th things, or maybe even potentially switching over. Well, Tashi from 343 had this to say about that. Regarding Halo Esports on PC, we'll talk a little more about this at the HCS Invitational at South by Southwest. Don't expect major PC Halo Esports announcements at the event, but want to open up the conversation since it's a big deal for this community. We want to do things together. And that is such a reassuring thing right there where basically they're just gonna test the waters and see what do people want when it comes to Halo on the PC. Do you think we can move it over to the competitive side over the PC? I'm sure a lot of those uh, pro players will pro probably have mixed feelings about this since they've spent so much time owning their skills on the controller that moving over to the PC would be rather interesting to see how that would turn out. Me personally, I think there's a way you can probably make this work. I know that Call of Duty franchise has actually done this where they have a PC and a console platform when it comes to competitive gaming. I do believe that the console side of things focus more on the 4v5 5v5 or 5v6, whatever the competitive gaming version is, where that's on the console on the PlayStation, but then you have more competitive blackout modes for their Battle Royale game on PC. Now there really isn't that much of a distinction in gameplay for Halo, so we don't, and plus we don't know if there is even going to be a Battle Royale in Halo Infinite. Honestly, my personal opinion, I hope so, but that's just my opinion. But uh, so far, they're kind of just want to see, you know, test the bars to see what people want. Uh, I ultimately feel that console will still maintain the main platform when it comes to Halo. I think it'd be kind of similar to what happened with Destiny here, where yeah, there is a PC audience, but it's mainly going to be a Xbox console kind of platform since that's where you know all the advertising is going to be put onto it as well similar thing happened to titanfall as well where xbox was the main platform that was pushed for that game and xbox has always had a rather healthy population where playstation and especially pc have really struggled when it comes to you know having enough players to have a f healthy matchmaking system though as of recently as really boosted with the popularity of apex legends yeah, leave in the comments what you guys think about having Halo being a professional esports on the PC, or do you think it should remain on console, or is there a way we can mix up both? I think it ultimately depends what kind of gamer I get on Halo Infinite, if there's going to be a, a clear division of that, but I think moving forward, I think console is going to be the main platform. Now let's move on to the influencers of the gaming community as a whole, focusing mostly on the Twitch side of things. Uh, we've have tweets from Summit 1G showing his excitement for MCC coming to PC. We've seen Dr. Disrespect obviously talk about how he wants the MCC coming to PC, or not uh, Halo in general coming to PC. And of course, we all know Ninja, who used to be a professional Halo player. You know, he's and he's even showing some interest as well to jump in and play a little bit of MCC on PC. Now, why is this important? Why should game developers care about Twitch audiences? It seems like they're not really connected. Well, actually, they are very intertwined when it comes to player retention and growth of a franchise. I made a video a while back talking about Ninja Saves Halo, basically just showing how the influence of Twitch and viewers on people who activate or people who are active on Twitch are tend to be much more loyal customers to your game. They've all been proven to buy, more likely to buy your game, more likely to have higher retention, and more likely to play the game more often. So when you have guys like 
Summit 1G who can peak at like 100,000 viewers. Same thing with like Ninja. And you have Dr. Disrespect who can peak around like, you know, 600, 60,000 concurrent viewers at any time. These guys are, their viewership is larger than the viewership of Halo all combined from just one streamer. And having them come over and show you how awesome the MCC is, it's much more like the word of mouth kind of loyal uh, marketing for Halo as a whole. So more people will be more interested in Halo when you have big name play, you know, internet celebrities basically playing your game. You know, we've seen this all the time with just products in general. How many games, how many products you see out there with celebrity endorsements? It's been proven that you have a recognizable face or somebody that the uh, audience trusts selling your product, more likely people are gonna be into buying it because they're, they're gonna stamp their name on it. They wanna make sure it's something good, right? Well, I'm sure the same thing will probably happen with like Ninja, Summit 1G, Dr. Disrespect, those guys. If they're gonna be playing MCC on PC, even if it's just for like a week, for each one of those guys, that's huge, huge numbers. I think it'd probably be, it'd be the biggest numbers I think ever for Halo if one of those guys jumped on the play for like a week or two. And probably even more big name streamers as well as Halo seems to be a franchise where a lot of gamers got their start on. A lot of people have a very special place for Halo and so you probably see a lot more people jumping on as well. Remember how big the El Dorito mod come out and a lot of people were jumping on that Halo 3 El Dorito PC mod? There was a lot of big name guys jumping up on there as well. Now they all got banned because they were, you know, the game was actually legally released. But uh, you can see how just that short time frame right there, how much interest there was for the MCC on PC. I'll show you some graphs here just for statistical evidence showing that Twitch users have uh, influence on the game as well. This first one here is game sales attributed to Twitch. So basically these are all Twitch accounts that are linked with Steam. They definitely, they saw that, they, they figured that, okay, well, if they're linked with Twitch and on Steam, they're probably watching those games as well. And they definitely saw an increase of sales with those players. Not only that as well, but also that the higher retention rates as well. You see the baseline retention right here on this graph. This is, you know, your basic retention rate on the player base as a whole. Now you got those lighter purple color is boost from Twitch watching. So it's a bit higher, some games even more than others, especially for like, like I'm, I'm guessing Team F2 on here is either going to be Titanfall 2 or Team Fortress 2. And also Path of Exile, really big streaming communities right there and correlation between watching and days played. So you can see how that graph keeps in increasing between people who play the game, watch the game, and then they'll end up playing it more from watching the game on Twitch. It's a huge thing. Twitch viewers are retained better. You can see where I didn't watch Twitch, 77% people uh, would have an average retention rate where higher rates of retention are with Twitch viewers. Utilize Twitch is incredibly important and that's why you see things like Grassroots being heavily influenced by Twitch viewership right there as well. There's a reason why that's there because you need these people to help promote your game. But that's enough about that. Let's get into the Halo Reach information. So like I said, there was a little bit of information shown right here the other day on the announcement day of the MCC on PC. Brian Gerard or Sketch, the community manager of 343 tweeted out this picture saying it has begun pizzas are actually showing up at the studio thanks game cheat 13 you're too kind as and this is when the pizzas first started coming in if you watched my last video you'll know that um yeah there was a lot of pizza sent to 343 they had to literally say stop sending us pizza but you can see in this picture here in the background you can see they're messing around with halo reach on pc Totally, like it's in windowed mode right there. You can see it right there. It's pretty cool. We'll zoom in on the picture so you can get a better view of it. Yeah, it's a little tough to see, obviously, but that's at least you get a chance to see what it looks like. And, you know, it looks like Halo Reach on PC. So that's our first little glimpse that we have of the game on the platform. I am very excited. You can see that it looks pretty well done. There's now where graphical glitches or it's not like some prototype version or anything like that. It's the game on PC right there in front of you. I am super excited for this so you know I'll be definitely making a lot of content about the reach when it comes to the PC and also all the other games as well. So if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell so you stay up to date with anything Halo related. If you like this video, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your guys' thoughts on the video. Do you think Twitch is a very important pro platform for 343 to utilize? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. But anyways, guys. Thank you for much for watching. If you miss any content from me or if you're new around here, check out the videos, videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.